In this video, we are going to see the basic formulas like add, divide, multiply, subtract and also the preference given for these operations. Let's see those one by one. On the screen, if you see, I have addition, subtraction, multiplication. I have written some dummy numbers, let's say 20, 10. How do I add two numbers, subtract, divide? Let's see those one by one. So I'll keep my cursor here for addition. I'll press equal to any formula, any function, it starts with a equal to sign. So I'll just type here equal to, I'll use my arrow key, first cell plus second cell. For addition, I'll use this operator as plus, enter. So I got the answer as 30, which is simple and basic. Next, I'll go for subtract. Now I want to subtract two numbers. So I'll put the sign as equal to first cell number that is a bigger number minus smaller number and I'll get the answer as 10 which is simple again the answer is correct suppose I want to use the other one I want to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number suppose I want to subtract a bigger number from the smaller number so I'll type here equal to so I'll type here equal to 10 that is the smaller number minus from this number so I'll press enter. So I've got as minus 10. So that is a negative number. So the answer is coming as minus 10, which is absolutely correct. Next we have, if I want to divide equal to 20 divide by, that's a divide sign and divide by 10. I've got the answer as 2. That's correct. Next I have 20 multiplied by 10. So I'll use the operator as multiplication equal to first cell multiplied by second cell. So the answer which is expected is now 200. The moment I press enter, you can see the answer is 200. One small tip I, I would like to tell you here, when you use a formula or a function, you see the E2 is in the blue color, whereas E3 is in the red color. The blue color sign, it says the blue color cell is selected, red color, it resembles to the second cell which is selected. So if there are 10 to 20 different cells and you've selected, every cell will have a unique color. So you don't have to worry, you can find out where the problem is going on and press enter. Next we have something known as board mass. So, now, I'll just show an example and what exactly is a board mass with this example. This is the mobile phone cost calculator. A company, let's say some company is offering me some voice call. I use voice call. The free minutes included for me in my pack is 120 minutes. But estimated, I use mostly more than that. It is estimated minutes is 200 in a month. If I use more than 120 minutes, I'll get a cost of $2 per minute. Okay, so that is the scenario given here. Next scenario is for the SMS. I get 100 SMS free in a month, but I usually use a lot. That is 300 SMS in a month. If I use more than the free SMS, what is the charge I've got for per SMS is $1. So let's see how do I calculate. The calculation I'll be doing here for the extra voice of cost, I'll be getting it. So I'll use the formula here as equal to estimated minus the free minutes included so I should get the answer as 80 and that 80 I should get multiplied with the two dollar per per minute so when I multiply with it I'm expecting answer as 200 minus 120 that is 80 80 multiplied by two dollars that is 160 so when I press enter now you can you can see there's an answer something different which is showing us 40 in brackets 40 dollars that means it's a negative answer so now $40, what is the reason behind it is, if I go back to the function and if you see here, H5 minus H4 multiplied by H6. So now let's see, try to find out what is the problem given here. What it has done is, it has multiplied by H4 cell multiplied by H6. So H4 is multiplied by H6, that means 120 is multiplied by $2, that is 240. Now that 240, H5 minus 240. So H5 minus 240 means 200 minus 240, which is minus 40. So the answer which I've got was minus $40. So now how do I overcome this problem here itself? So if you see carefully, these are the orders. On the right hand side, I've written as board mass. What does board mass is full form of? That is bracket and you can see the symbol here. Second is the order or you can say as exponential. Some people call it as divide, multiply, addition, subtraction. So when you have all these operators in a cell, the preference is given in this order. So first is bracket. So in this cell, if you see there's a multiplication sign and here the multiplication sign is given the first prefer preference as compared to the subtraction. So therefore what has to be done is, now in this cell, I'll just use a separate thing. I'll put this H5 minus H4, that has to be given as first preference. 
So what I'll do is I'll put this h5 minus h4 into this bracket. So you can see here I'll put into the into this bracket. Yeah, that's it. So I've entered into a bracket. Now the expected answer I'm expecting is like this is 80 multiplied by two dollars. That is 160. So when I press enter, now you can see 160 dollars. So the answer is absolutely correct here. Similarly, let's try for one more option here. Estimated SMS is 300. I get free hundred free 100 SMS and per dollar I am charged for any SMS. So I will type here equal to estimated brackets estimated minus free SMS and I have put into bracket because that will be given as the first option. Now I will multiply that entire thing with one dollar. So now if you see clearly I have used extra 200 SMS in a month per SMS I have been charged one dollar. So if I see here, I'll be getting a charge of almost $200 when I press enter. So I'm getting the answer is $200. So you keep in mind, whenever you're using all these operators in one cell, the first preference is given to this brackets, exponential, division, multiplication, and then addition, subtraction. So that is all about the board mass here, if you see. Now in this video, we have seen now, how do we add, subtract, divide, multiply? When you're using all these oper operators into one cell, this is the way you can remember, that is board mass. All right.